Hey, Scott. Hey, how are you? Good, good. Appreciate and uh, giving me a call here. Hey, why not? Give you yeah. a little help, and that way you guys can go through the training and see what to do. Often people, they they see there's training, but they don't know which steps to take first because there's so many things. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I've been involved. <clears throat> Our business, we've been around for, <clears throat> excuse me, 14 years. Um, I've been doing the marketing. I mean, it's just changed so much in the last even two years. Yeah. Uh, so it's kind of hard to run a business and keep, keep up sometimes with all the <laughs> with all the changes. So <clears throat> Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I mean, we, you know, I, I, I kind of understand what you're uh, meaning with the uh, location pages. Mm -hmm. uh, we slowly have started building those out. <clears throat> um, I think we could be doing a lot better. <laughs> um, All of us. I, I, yeah, I, I had, you know, I had um, White Spark working on them, but they were very slow with it. Um, and I think they were just outsourcing it. <laughs> like, I can do that, guys. Come on. You know, like, good, <laughs> so, we'll, we'll do that. And, you know, Darren's a good friend of mine. We go way, yeah. way back. Yeah. So it's I, I have nothing bad to say about White Spark, but just know like their package is they're they're very clear about it. They're building links very slowly. This is and we never ever want to pretend that SEO is some like magic thing by next month, right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. My my big my big thing was the build out. Um, you know, they kind of limited and I even offered them like, hey, you know, I'd like to build our location pages out a lot quicker. Um right here's extra money well we we're limited on what we can do okay no no they they that they, they have a package that's the package they do yep. they don't want to change that and it makes sense why, why if you do custom stuff all you, you get lose track of everything right yeah and if it's working for them great <clears throat> that's yeah. a good you know they have a pretty good business model um and i mean we we i definitely enjoy working with them but i think it's kind of it was kind of time for me to move on and kind of uh start in house yeah ex exactly I and mean, that's why you reached out to us right Exactly. Yeah, okay. exactly. So. All right. So have you used yeah. any SEO tools to look at your stuff? I thought I'd show you a few things. Um, so I've been on SEM rush. Um, I used to have the mid package. I kind of, um, <clears throat> when white spark was doing the work for me, I figured, well, right. you know, um, I, I let that one go, but I, a couple of days ago, I started playing with it again. Um, I have, I've used Moz before. Um, all right. I, so you're familiar with all the tools. They all do kind of the same thing. Yep. Yeah. yeah. The numbers um, are slightly like, different, but it's almost, it's pretty close. Sure. And it sounds like you kind of lean towards SEM rush a little bit. I, I'm on the advisory board recently. Oh, okay. And I'm, I know, like, we all know each other, right? All the okay. software people, we all know each other. Okay, good. So I, people will want to spend hours like arguing about how this one tool does like, and there's like, you know what? Whether you use Nike or Adidas and you're playing basketball, it's not going to make a huge difference, right? It's a tool. <laughs> it's, it's the player. It's not the tool. I promise you, it's not the tool. Sure, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, for sure. So let's take a quick look. I'm going to share yeah. my screen, and then okay. we're recording this for you. And then if you hire a VA, you can play this for them a bit later. And okay, yeah. we're we're big fans of the idea of learn do teach, which is build out in the open and teach in the open. But sure. there's no secrets, and everything is transparent. So you can see here that you want to rank on Milwaukee and different kinds of window tinting. Yes. And you have increased your domain authority and therefore it allows you to rank on more keywords. I would think like car wrap Milwaukee, window, window tinting Milwaukee, window tinting or, you know, business, whatever Tinting plus uh, times any suburb of Milwaukee you would want to kill it on, right? Yes, correct. Okay. So then I look at these and see none of these ones here or, you know, window tinting near me, window, like none of these are in the top three. Mm -hmm. And if it's not in the top three, you basically, you'll get a little trickle. You'll see like, there's just a few here and there. And there's, there's enough volume here, Scott. That it's worth going after, right? Sure. I don't even know what Solix is, but is that like some brand? Like maybe oh, that, that's manufacturer, that? yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, window films. So, you're running some ads here. Uh, correct. Or local. Yeah, not not a lot. Um, and we custom window films. Like I would want to see why don't we have more local? There's local, right? Anything near me, obviously, is telling Google this is a local one. Okay. 
here's local business window tinting. So this is showing, we'll, we'll run a report. Actually, you know, let's do it right now. So business There's window so many tinting. tools that will do the map, even the map grid results. So I'm on a new computer. So I just got this MacBook Pro stacked out custom with everything, 128 gigs of RAM. And oh, nice. You have to special order when you, like yeah, Apple doesn't carry this sort of thing in the store because it's 6,000 bucks. Oh man. I'm I'm the kind of guy where I just I just need to every year I just need to have it maxed out. I'm kind of the same way. I, I do some uh trading too, so I like having a fast computer. Yeah. And you know, some people think it's like vanity, but I mean this is what I do for a living. So that's right. Okay, so NV window. No, I don't think we've run anything here for you. Okay. It's not new uh try new vision and you N U V I S I O N. Window film, window tinting. Yep. You have one GMB, right? This one. Uh, we have three. We have Madison, three. Milwaukee, and Waukesha. So type in uh, Mequon. That's our Milwaukee. That's a Mequon's a suburb of Milwaukee. M M E Q U O N. M E Q U O N. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And this is just using the Google Maps API. All of these tools use the Google Maps API because it's we're trying to find the GMB. This one? Yep, that's that's our main one, yeah. Okay. Only 31 reviews? I mean, five stars. That's great. Yeah, we, we keep trying. You know, I have my installers. I started even offering them a bonus if they get a positive, you know, like throwing them 25, 50 bucks per um, good review they get. So window tinting service. What else do we want? Um, window film. Um, uh, it looked like when it looked like business window tinting looked pretty, uh, what pretty percent good. of your business is consumer versus business? Um, so here's the deal is that, so the, 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 the term window tinting is a very broad, a lot of times people are looking for cars. We don't touch cars. We're 100%, um, 95% business so we're doing decorative films oh wow so just trying to rake on window tinting is actually bad because that's all people trying to block out their mustang or whatever exactly and so we're trying we're trying more so window tinting is involved with us but it's a lot of times they're looking for cars um and it's a cheap ticket you know some the guys around here are doing it for 200 bucks a car it's just it's a joke um, you don't want to touch that yeah it, it, it's, yeah. it's just to drive you bad leads all day Exactly. But uh, business window tinting is huge. Residential window tinting. Um, uh, but it's 95% business. So why why not maximize the thing that matters to you? And when people search, they're searching on business window tinting, right? I would say commercial window tinting, commercial window films. Commercial. So we basically have three categories of films. One is security. It's a clear security if someone tries to break into a business. It's basically a laminate that goes. Uh, so I don't. We don't even want to go after window tinting service because that's that's like all, mostly cars, isn't it? Yeah, or correct. No? Yeah, like commercial. Okay. Yeah, I would say maybe security window films is a big one. Um, okay, you have to tell me what. I mean, I could Google it, I suppose. Yeah. Security well, window films. Okay. Uh, decorative window films is a big one. Um, it's weird because you are. It's such a weird niche. You are a local service, but but when you're B two B, it's it basically makes you more B two B than you are local. Even though technically you are local, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, might... it's like all these other consumer services, like you could be a dentist or you know a lawn care guy or a plumber. Like th those are straight up easy because it's direct to consumer. Yep. But your yours is local, but B two B. That's tricky, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but right. we do have res we do residential window tinting too. Um, that's a higher end. Um, you know, we're doing a lot of lake homes and okay uh, stuff like that. So okay. All right. So you you were ranking on business window tinting, which actually has quite a few searches. Two bucks. I, I would just Is buy it? these. I would buy this. Hmm? You were. You lost it. You were thirteen, and you lost it. You could see here. And that was just the local. No, that was overall. So you had the local pack, you had videos and image pack. You had window privacy film near me, which means local search. Oh, I don't know why I lost all those. Well, I mean, we could you lost it two months ago, three months ago. You see that, right? All the tools will tell you this. It's not like it's a secret, right? Yeah. 
and and things go up and down. It's like the stock price; it goes up and down, and you yeah. lose. You and so I wouldn't like worry about any one thing because it's just there's each of these changes is noise, but overall, it's what the pick. You know, overall, where are these people coming from? Like overall, you know, through WhiteSpark, you've gotten more links, and your domain rating's gone up, mm -hmm. and so your traffic did go up. I what I did do is I started uh, joining uh, local chambers of commerce. I looked at their, looked at the ones that had really good domain authority within Moz, um, and then I joined those to get the links. Um, Your traffic I, has been terrible. Is, is it because of Milwaukee? Is it seasonal? Like people don't want to do anything in the winter. Very seasonal. <laughs> like business. Look, look at this, right? You have like this stuff here in July, and then it just fell apart after that. Well, you it had has, a little burst in November. Yeah. But after that, that, you can see what happened, right? And that's pretty typical Milwaukee. Um, you know, Wisconsin is just, it's a cold weather state, um, very conservative money. <laughs> um, yeah. Usually our, our quarter one's horrible. Um, luckily, we have a referral business and we do a lot of, you know, we do some other things that keep us busy. Um, referral yeah. is going to be key with other home service businesses or the contractors or whoever's building the house, like they can refer you because people don't know a window tinting service. No, no. They just want to know whoever their friend recommends. I'll just use them. Exactly. The contractor says you should use these guys. All right. Yeah, and we get that a lot. We have the the nice thing is we have a we have a good history. We have a good clientele. Um, but you know, to, in order to grow, we have to continue getting new customers too. So, um, we, and, and, and I, the I, reviews I, are key for that because it's local, and you're not doing this nationwide. The fact you have only thirty reviews on that main GMB, even though they're five stars, is hurting us. Yep. Okay. And then if you're networking with these other like Chamber of Commerce or whatever BNI, whatever groups, you should be interviewing them, like highlighting their business, <laughs> guest posting about them and vice versa to build the links and the signal in Milwaukee, right? Mm -hmm. Which these other guys aren't doing. So who built this Eileen and dogs? I have no clue. I mean, okay, fine. Jessica. Jessica links to as a no follow, you see this to your thing so yeah i don't know who that doesn't matter so 21 man you know, that's, should chamber that's, okay that's this a chamber. Is relevant, but it's on a subdomain it doesn't carry much power i mean this this page ranks on two so it's like a directory listing this is these are all like directory listings basically <laughs> this is a fake blog someone created listed you on a fake blog whatever <sighs> celebhomes.net ranks on nothing zeros here i mean the site's got a little bit of power but the page has got these pages all have nothing you see the zero zero zeros on here you see these Those ones are here? all just useless and they're all no follows too so it doesn't even matter so th these don't count worth anything okay okay new star so this uh, locally so you, this is the ten dollars a month directory thing you pay for right but your directory uh, listing here's got a 301 because you didn't correct the https so 301, you know, because you use the SEO tools, doesn't pass all the juice. Anytime you see a 301, try to go see as another directory listing. You got to change this to, you got to update the link and not be lazy and assume the 301 is going to cover it, right? Okay. The directory listing, fine. Open cart. This is probably one they paid for, they got for you. Home window tinting, for sure. Nobody links on home window tinting as an anchor text. They're clearly doing that for SEO, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> But it's working. You're in a listicle. You understand what a listicle is? Uh, no. A listicle is like the 12 best places to eat flounder in Milwaukee or whatever, like the 10, but 11 tips. So this is just a way to do a roundup where you just have 11 businesses and they're all kind of contributing towards this. It's called, you know, it's like stone soup, basically. Sure. Okay. Okay. Directory, another directory. So mainly you have directory listings with the smattering of fake blogs <laughs> anytime you see a lot of these blog spots and Not i understand really. why they do it because they say blogspot is google's free blogging service so it's called google stacking so okay. you use you put your videos on youtube which is google you use gmail for your email which is google you use blogspot which is google's you know blogging thing all of it to like try to show google hey you know this is who we are milwaukee window tinting business window tinting window film kansas city this one is relevant because it's also window film. It's another city. So I imagine, Scott, you know all these other 
people that do business window tinting too. And there's like some industry conference and you you just happen to do it in Milwaukee, but you have you know people who do it everywhere, right? Correct. Yep. Can you not guest blog on their sites? Uh, and I they could. can guest blog on your site, yeah? Yep. That's going to be your number one ding, 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 ding SEO strategy. So like going out to other dealers like myself and other territories. Yeah. And, 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 and with the manufacturers too, you know, you, you can be a success story for them and, and show them like of all the other installers, here's how you do marketing. Because if you're going to buy product from so-and-so, the manufacturer has an incentive to help the installers get better at their marketing, right? Mm -hmm. So do that. So that's your number one link building strategy. It requires you. You can't outsource it because I don't have the relationships with the manufacturers and with these other window tinting people, right? Sure. Yep. So like that's like hiring someone to be your wife. Like you can't. I mean, you have to build it. You're, I mean, you'd love to outsource it and all that, but this is something that it, it unfortunately really requires your relationship. If not, then you have this blog spot stuff, right? Yep. When will it work? I mean, yeah, but it's like really weak. It's super weak. Decorative nope. window film Gen Mito. Okay, so this is probably some fake. Let's just go look at this site. This... Oh boy. Decorative <laughs> window film. This is yours. Accounting job. Sliding door, black sliding door blinds. Energy and security solutions. Creative solutions. This is... Uh... Let me oh. just ask you. I know you're not like an SEO person, but uh... how likely do you think this is something a human would write? Uh, it's it's not. And this person, whoever this person is, do you think this person knows who Scott is and uh, no your business? No. Yeah. Okay. And and these things, do you, do you think like a human would create categories like this? No. No. What do you think Google thinks of this all, site? All spammy stuff. What, what is? How does Google look at this site? It looks probably junk. It's spam. It's full of spam. Yeah. Do you think Google's going to be because of this? Even though there's a lot of stuff on decorative window film on that site do you think this will help you with seo no okay how about this one window glass nitiv i mean this looks it's window glass milwaukee sounds good right it's linking to you let's see let's be at this one let's see do you think let's pretend we're google asbestos guidelines modular it's home it was last time Wisconsin glass, Mr. Bottles.com. I mean, it looks almost relevant. This would have fooled Google years ago. Yeah. Because it says all these things. It says all the words that you want. It looks like home services, you know, doors and windows and house clean hotels in Las Vegas, plumber tools, etching fiberglass in Milwaukee. I mean, it almost seems relevant. United Auto Insurance in Wisconsin, Chicago. I don't know, this, but I I don't think whoever this is, who's Prolemka Samoskin? Who's this? Yeah, I don't know who. And they they blog about window glass. I mean, this is this is pro Prolemma should be named Problema. Prolem <laughs> Prolemka writes a blog on window glass, which is super relevant to you, right? So when did that one? Um, so some of the stuff looks pretty old. So. Someone might have said, "Hey, I'm going to get you some links." This is, this is 2019. A lot of this was was uh, oh, this was last year. Oh well, you have a, actually, you know, most of it's 2019. It looks like this fake so stuff. Someone was building me some. Whoever built your site, like, look, yeah, 2019. Someone went crazy in 2019. Like, did you hire someone on Fiverr and paid them ten bucks to generate 500 links? It could have been. Don't because anytime we see stuff like that, it usually means they went to Fiverr. And you know the one, those ones on Fiverr where it says like, "Hey, I'll build you a thousand links for like twenty bucks," right? Very useless. And it sounds great. I mean, look, look at this one. Back also two thousand nineteen. Like, look at the <laughs> November two the two or the yeah all these two thousand nine oh. like November two thousand nineteen. Yeah. So someone went in there in, in November of two thousand nineteen and just went crazy with all this decorative window. Okay, this one. All right, let's see what else we have. This is one of your best links. And this looks actually legit. Welcome to Glendale. But the, you, you see the, <clears throat> see, what's this one? This looks like, yeah, this is November, 2019. Six reasons why your business shouldn't invest in window tinting. Oh boy. Not secure site, stock art. <laughs> okay, so your thing on window tinting is next to maternity photography, 
<laughs> IT support and order food online, but do they deliver? Hmm. And chelation therapy, which I don't think is and watering your Gulf Coast lawn. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. I don't, it doesn't sound legit to me. Does it? I don't think so. Nice try. Yeah. Anyway, they're all like this. You have a few directory listings. You have these fake blog spot ones, all from November of 2019, 2019, April, 2023. How to pick the best windows for your room, cutie, patatas. What does that mean? Who knows? But it's linking to you. Okay. And some oh. of them may be just like spam blogs that just link to you, not that someone bought it. Yeah. Wow, someone went crazy trying to stuff all these keywords <laughs> in the title. Thank oh, you. you know what? That's that's the uh I think that's, that's the Chamber of Commerce. Oh, it's a member. Yeah, that's an actually Chamber of Commerce. Yeah. This actually carries a little bit of power. It does rank on a couple of keywords. Yeah. This is your directory listing, isn't it? New vision window and film. Oh, okay, because so it has all this. There's like nothing in here. It doesn't say anything in here. I can update that. This actually does, it is relevant. It ranks on two keywords. What keywords does it rank on? New Vision Window Films ranks on your name and New Vision Construction. Oh, interesting. That's weird. But it doesn't have any traffic and there's no competition. It's low volume, so whatever. Yeah, it's probably, um, it's probably um, because we're considered a construction subcontractor. So they probably just throw us in a subcategory. Oh, category. Yeah. Okay. Huh. All right. So we can spend forever looking at your links and, and whatnot, but he, here's what I'm looking for. You have these, because we talked about, you need these location service pages. Mm -hmm. So you have these four within Milwaukee. You have one for Madison. You have Chicago. Of course. Where, where's most of your business? Um, well, lately it's been Madison. Uh, Milwaukee's a much bigger, Milwaukee's about two and a half million, um, MSA, Madison, maybe a million MSA. So Madison, maybe. why don't you have it? If Madison is like where you are, well, we're why actually focus where, why don't you have more location service pages on on Madison suburbs? We're actually we're actually located in Milwaukee. The majority of our business lately has come from Madison, so it's just been odd. Um, okay. So so out. here, look, you have this. Yep. But where? Why aren't these linkable to the location service pages? So that's what White Spark was very slowly, slowly, slowly rolling out. You know, the AI tools can do this instantly, right? They can do all the links. So I use chat GPT quite a bit, I guess. Yeah. That's what I mean. We have all this training. You can, you can watch hundreds of videos where we walk through, how do you build out these location service pages in a non-spammy way? Okay. Then that, right. that I would love. I mean, that, that I can Yeah, do. go through our training on it, but I'll just summarize it. So let's say Sun Prairie, okay? Mm -hmm. Then you have a location service page for Sun Prairie, Yep. And you just, you have ChatGPT write it, answering all the PAA, right? So this is what you do. Oops. My buddy, Scott does business. This is so easy. I mean, I could tell you, it's just, just as fast to do it. There's business window tinting in Madison. Wisconsin and suburbs. He, uh, we has location service pages on these neighborhoods. We want to generate the copy for his location service page on for uh, was it Sun Prairie? What was the city? Then oh, Sun Prairie. Yeah, that's yep. Sun Prairie. And do you have pictures from your techs servicing? Hundreds of Sun Prairie. Yeah, I have, I have 20, a good 15 years worth of photos. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you go to our site, they're all over the place. And um, so please generate the copy and include spots where he can insert his experience, pictures, and uh, Quips about the city. Of course, answer P A A and uh, E E A T so we can rank 
on commercial window tinting terms note we don't want to do automo uh, autos a uh, wind car car uh, window tinting it's mainly you have to give it context it's mainly businesses okay <laughs> now that will generate the stuff here. It'll you understand what PAA and EEAT is, right? Uh, no, PAA. Well, uh, it la actually told you right here. PAA is people also ask. So okay. if I do Sun Prairie, Wisconsin business window tinting. It's going to show all this stuff here. These guys. Uh -huh. And then it says, well, people also ask, what's the legal thing? How much is a ticket? This is probably car kind of stuff. Yeah, it's all car stuff, yeah. But let's do commercial. These guys are outranking us. These other guys. Oops. And commercial vehicles? No, no, no. No. This looks like car stuff. It's still yeah, it's car. yeah. Okay, so I'm, uh, there's another way to get to it. So uh, I'll show you in a second. Okay, so here it is. This is your page for Sun Prairie. Sun Prairie's premier business window tinting service. Welcome to, and then just insert this stuff here. Insert your experience. Insert a sentence or two. Now you know what we teach about one minute videos. So you just make one minute videos. <clears throat> Give me a list of 10 questions that Scott can answer in one minute videos according to the methodology I teach. I just remind it, it knows who I am, but I just sometimes the thing like forgets. Yeah. Oh, you. Uh, we are making Scott Googleable via the content factory process. So it, it knows what this stuff is. Okay. This like you don't like that you understand this thing's very smart. This includes dollar a day too. Okay. And uh, not just for this city, but for his business overall. Okay, so do you think, Scott, I'm not asking rhetorically, that you can just answer the questions that it gives you? Because it, it knows for business window tinting, not the you know car, when, when will the cops give me a ticket for having it too dark kind of thing? Yep, yep. But can you, can you answer these questions? I'm sure you can. And you could take three sure. minutes to answer if you want. And then what you do is you take these videos and you sprinkle them into your location service pages and just generally on the site blog posts and all that right that's what you do so if you go back to one of my so uh for instance maybe like my madison page okay. um so this it, one yep yeah. so if you scroll down so now i have we have a list of uh our products um scroll back up there's, uh, there's almost nothing here scott like yeah you have all this but look there's there's nothing here here i'll just show you I'll prove it to you. I'm going to copy this. I gave you all these great questions. Okay. Now I'm going to paste in his Madison page, which is where he's getting most of his business right now. Please critique it for PAA and EEAT. I'm also going to paste in the SEO stats for this page. So don't analyze until I paste this in too. There, I pasted that in and it'll say like, okay, cool. Now, uh, now give me the rest of it. See, the thing didn't freaking listen to me. 
I told it to wait, but you know, this, <laughs> this is why I don't trust AI because it does like even, I told it not don't analyze it yet, but it already told us that you don't you don't have it in here. I mean, I already know you don't have it. I looked at it. So let's go look at the stats on this page. So this is your site overall. This is the page. Okay. This is what you have on the page. 98 keywords. Oh, that's not good. Window privacy, okay. solar film for windows, lost. Madison window tint, you move from 19 to 18. You know, it's still got no traffic on it, but okay, here. Home window film installers near me. That sounds like something you'd want. Yes. Okay. So you don't have anything to deserve to rank on it. So let's copy that. I know it's ugly. I'm pasting this thing in here, but then, you know. Yep. Okay. Now here are his SEO stats on the Madison location service page. Okay. Ugly, but it, it can read it. Okay. Yeah, see? Saw we went from 18 to 11 on the lost seven positions. Uh-huh. Yeah, not enough content death. Yeah, not, not really showing much about Madison or linking to other cities. And yeah, you're not satisfying EEAT because you, you've got, I mean, you know, you're doing it for 15 years. You have hundreds or thousands of these photos and videos. There's nothing on there. It's just listing your products and whatever. It's no different than what a spammer could auto-generate. You're not showcasing your experience which is the first e so one of the things i just recently did if you go to my um and I, I guess this is a good question um and i don't want to take up your whole day obviously but um, i really appreciate your uh your being on with me um i started adding photos of work onto our home page just literally yeah, last week we should but put them on the location service pages too yeah and that's what i'll work on that this weekend i can't um, even get to your home page how come i can't you scroll, this thing that pops up you have a scroll oh, there up there, there you go um so now if you scroll down um keep going keep going but look these pictures here are probably not even real no those are fake yeah clearly these are fake you can tell yeah. these are fake. okay yeah um if you scroll put, put down real one can you put real ones here just don't have anything fake in here okay yeah, just, yep. it's just not good okay yeah yep yeah, i'll uh, i'll update those uh if you keep scrolling down there's a gallery that i just put in um, Dude, this is way too far no one's going to scroll this far you need to okay so okay, right there. here we go so so yeah, don't use carousels for many reasons. I see what you're doing here, but yeah. So does, does alt text matter? Or does uh, that barely, barely. Okay. Your so site has so little power anyway. This alt text thing doesn't matter. What matters is you don't have your site structure to where you're literally showing that this is what you do. You you structured this like an e-commerce site. Okay. Bullet resistant. This the different products you have. Like that's you look like an e-commerce site, not a local site. As far as okay. I. Can. And then yeah. the AI is basically agreeing. Okay. See, it's basically telling us this. It's, it's telling you the same thing I told you. And it even gave you the answer, the questions to answer to, to make sure that you actually have the content necessary to tell Google that you're doing the things that you say you do. Sure. Anyway, here it is. See? This is hey, I, got some work. I got some work to do. <laughs> well, this is all recorded, so you can watch this again. Yeah. Well, and it's funny because, I mean, I, I think we're doing, uh, you know, the matrix that I look at versus our competitors, which have horrible sites. I guess I'm lucky I don't have better competitors because it would be yeah. a little competitive against us. Um, how many calls are you getting? Per, well, I guess it's seasonal, but per year, how, ma how many calls are you getting? Or how much revenue are you doing? Uh, we're, we're just, I mean, we were running about a million and a half before COVID. Now we're, you know, we did about 800 last year. Okay. Uh, I'm hoping to get back to a million this year. Um well, so then in the people? good months, you're like 200,000 and in the bad months, you're like 10,000 or 20,000. Huh? Yeah, correct. Like um, January was actually pretty good, but this was stuff that was already written. Um, okay. We do a lot of secu uh, security film for schools, uh, okay. for active shooter stuff. Um, you know, so we we put a lot of laminate on schools. Um, we also have a, a wide format printer. So we do a lot of our own custom print decorative and privacy films. Um, right. So... Um, okay. But yeah, I, I wish we, uh, I, I thought we were doing a little better than that, <laughs> to be honest with you. I mean, it's, look, when you come into the doctor's office and we do your MRI and your blood, you know, don't get mad at the report. The, the, oh, stats, the stats, you know, I mean, it's just, it is what it is, right? No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm definitely, uh, it's a little, um, I, and I know we're doing, I know we're doing better than our competitor, but I want to, I, I want to do better than that even. So that's why, you know, I why wouldn't you? Yeah.
Well, yeah. you know, these are simple. What I told you before was this is this is all easy to fix. Yeah. And I think I mean, you're. I mean, no, I don't mean to offend you, but you're you're only doing a million a year or just under. Mm -hmm. So anyone who's that small should just get this stuff done themselves really easily because mm -hmm. no one cares more about your business than you. Oh, hundred percent. Now you could probably hire a VA or two to do this, but you need to start it off because if you just hire a VA and you don't understand what's going on, you won't be able to audit. Like you won't be able to audit White Spark. I love White Spark, but like you said, things change all the time and you need to know what's going on. Like you, you've organized this site like an e-com site where you have all this here. Mm -hmm. You're not trying to sell products nationwide. You're trying to, you, you want to provide, you, you know, you want to do the installation at these businesses and schools and whatever. And this, so this doesn't make sense. Why mm -hmm. are you doing this? So what what would you suggest? So not having product. look, you have, look at these products, look at these three M products and all. That's great. You carry these three M products, but that's not what you're. You're not freaking Home Depot where someone wants to come in and find you know a particular product. Mm -hmm. Your service business, right? Correct. Why are you organized like an e commerce business? Huh? I never thought of it that way. But you um, see, it's it's pretty obvious now, right? Oh well, yeah. So it, and then. If if Madison is where you're getting most of the business, why is there only one location service page and you have four in Milwaukee? Yeah. You should have like five or six. Where, where, wherever you're getting the most business is where you should double down on your location service pages. Okay. Um, yeah. Have you ever heard of a, a service called Data Pins? Uh-uh. So um, if, uh, type it in real quick. It, so it's a service where when my guys are out in the field, it gets geotagged in the pictures and they can take the picture um, – there you go. The first one there, data pins. And so we consider doing this because... Um, I don't think SEO software is really going to do anything for you because these guys don't even rank on much. Look, if you take... Here, I'll just prove it to you. So, um, Milwaukee. So I'm going to search my Google Photos. So this is everything off of my phone, right? Mm -hmm. Automatically off of my phone. Without me needing to do anything so this shows i've been in milwaukee i've got boarding passes in milwaukee and uh -huh. uh, actually it's madison let's just go wisconsin let's go wisconsin okay i've been in wisconsin many times oh nice so uh, i'll have proof you'll see you'll, just don't uh, come in the winter time yeah exactly this. so this stuff is automatically being tagged. So I was at Marquette okay. a couple months ago at the human performance lab getting, because I'm a former nearly professional athlete. And you'll see this is where it was in Milwaukee, downtown at Marquette, right? Okay. It's already here. This is the date. I took out an iPhone 14, right? Yep. See? There's no need. Like Google already knows this. It's already included. See, and then I'm, you know, at this place here, I'm with my buddy who's a chef. I'm with eating food. I'm at. So do you have any um, suggestions as far as how to place those? So say, uh, so you're saying under this, I should be more focused on my service pages and location pages. And within those, I should be putting pictures. Yeah. How would you suggest? Look, you know, you said you see this? But look, yourself. this one, look, look at this. Look how easy this is. So here is a picture I took off of my phone. You can see this, right? Yep. And it's in Lake Mills. Mm -hmm. Well, I can grab all the stuff from Lake Mills and put it on my Lake Mills location service page, right? Okay. And I could grab all the stuff from this place. Where is this place? This place is Johnson Creek. Oh, I know. That's the pine cone, man. That's good stuff. Yeah, it is. You know, you seen these? Okay, you know what I'm talking <laughs> I've about. Eaten, oh, I've eaten there. <laughs> this that's is actually uh, kind of halfway between Milwaukee and Madison, so our uh, we're we're driving that road a lot. So this was not a low calorie meal. No, not at all. No, but, but it was good. <laughs> and and so if I upload this photo, it already includes a lot of these details in it, right? Yep. So. Why wouldn't I just include these signals in here? And then Google is smart enough to be able to recognize where this stuff is anyway, right? 
Google can tell whether I'm uploading some stock photo thing or whether it's like actually something from my experience, which is why they emphasize EEAT. And here's another one in Milwaukee somewhere. What is this anyway? We're teaching people how to do one minute videos. Oh, I'm in West Bend. Okay. And yeah. this is at USCCA. These are friends of mine, the United States Concealed Carry Association. Oh yeah. We're yeah, teaching we've, them. Had, we've actually done work there. <laughs> we've tested their windows. Yeah. Tim's Tim's a good buddy of mine. He's, He's awesome. Oh, is he? Yeah. I'm actually a member. Uh, we I carry their insurance. Um, oh, good. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah. We helped them grow from 6 million to 60 million, largely through Facebook ads. Dollar oh, a day. Really? One minute video on dollar a day. I kid you not. And Bob who runs their marketing will swear up and down about how our dollar a day strategy and one minute videos and digital plumbing is what grew their business. So you guys, Oh, so look, you, there's me and Tim, right? Oh yeah. That's him. Yeah. He's a little taller than me. Yeah. He's, he's a, he's a, he's a big dude, but look, you can see this is in Wisconsin, right? Yeah. yeah. So I've got lots of stuff in Wisconsin. I've got a lot of proof. Do you know why the military look, I'm shooting guns. I'm actually a pretty damn good shooter. Surprisingly. What, uh, what range are you at there? That's their range. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. They have their own range. You would imagine. Of course they do. Yeah. So um, I guess I don't look very excited, but it was a <laughs> lot of fun. And we're shooting. Okay. Okay. Or what is this? Baker targets Germantown. Okay. So yep. do, you, do you know why the U.S. military bans soldiers from posting pictures on social media? Um, probably because it's all, so my, my son is a, uh, he's an officer in the Navy and he just got back from the Red Sea and yeah, they had, they were shut down because I mean, they, they were shooting down drones and, um, I, you know, he goes silent quite a bit, especially during this time. And a lot of it, I think is probably because of the geotagging and the geotagging on the photos. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It, yeah. it will reveal to the enemy where you are. Yeah. So you can see I've spent a lot of time in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm teaching at USCCA, right? At their headquarters. And these people are sort of paying attention to my so training. Is, so is is writing content with the photos like, hey, this is a photo of this and putting some keywords or putting... Telling so stories in one-minute videos. Like okay. this is what... I, I'm basically giving you a private class and reteaching okay. our materials, which you should still go through. All right, yep, definitely. But you answer these questions and ask Chat GPT how to do this. Okay. Because I literally I asked it, hey, Scott doesn't have much information on his site. It sucks. Okay. That's what I basically said. And it said, okay, good. I'll answer these questions and upload pictures and videos for your location service pages. It literally told you what to do. Sure. Right? This That's whole awesome. chat told you what to do. Um Here, I'll share this chat with you. That's great. I appreciate it. Um, so you guys do work with, uh, so another part of our thing is Facebook and um, I hired a company and I was spending 1200, 1200 bucks a month for $2,000 with the ads of Facebook. I don't think do that. Don't, you don't need Facebook right now. Um, you need Google, you need the basic SEO stuff. Okay. Well, I guess one, the one thing with Facebook is, you know, like you had mentioned that our, um, our uh, our consumer awareness is very low on this, you know, it's just a very niche. So, trying to find um, um, trying to find ways to increase consumer awareness is one of our bigger struggles. Um, like I understand the low hanging fruit with really optimizing our website, both in paid and um, in SEO. But one of the struggles we also have is people just don't know what the hell we do. <laughs> so they don't even know it exists really. Yeah, uh, you got to make one minute videos. You can boost those for a dollar a day on Facebook. You don't need to hire anybody, but you take these videos. I have a whole course on how to do a dollar a day. Right? Okay, I'll take a look at that. Yeah, go okay. through that straightforward. And dollar you'll find day. certain videos will boost your, your your complaint is that people don't know about you. Yeah. Yeah, well, the, the reason why people don't know about you is you haven't published these stories, whether it's on your website or on social media. Okay. I'm sure okay. you have them. I'm sure they're in some folder somewhere that nobody, no one can yeah, see. So what I did start doing um, on our webpage uh, under resources projects, I started um, writing. Um, nobody can see that. What's that? Nobody can see that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so like, it's, what you're saying is moot. It doesn't matter. So it should, those should be under specific location pages and not, and not under one page that I'm just compiling. You, you structured the site. So the top level pages are all e-commerce looking pages. They okay. do not look like a local service. You have to get the site structure right. Yeah. Build links coming in. You know, we could take, for example, this audit, and I would title it 
you know, SEO audit of a business window tinting company in Milwaukee. And basically take this thing, run it through ChatGPT, and then link to you from our DR62 site. And Google would see that that was relevant because I our site talks about improving you know, local service businesses and making the phone ring and doing all the stuff that we talk about. So it's relevant. This whole conversation is relevant to what we do. Sure. But to make it relevant to you, it's an audit on you. So if we turn this into an article and link to you, this is not a paid link. This is not selling garbagey links from those other blog spot things. This would be a legitimate piece of content that anyone else who is a window tinting company or interested in doing SEO audits would see that this was valuable. They, If they watched this, they would find it was helpful, right? Sure. And it would pass you a DR62 legitimate link. Yeah. What would that cost you to buy if you were to even try to buy it? Probably five, six hundred bucks, I'd imagine. I mean, those links are not cheap. More than that. Yeah. You think? Yeah. It'd be two hundred bucks a month. Okay. So I do stuff like that. Like, yeah. why not leverage? Because Google wants to see that you've leveraged expertise, authority, and relevancy in the thing that you want to be known for. So connect with other window installers from other countries and interview them on a 15 minute blog post. Okay. And okay. connect with the manufacturers and bring them on your podcast. You know, just having a Zoom account, you can just say you have a podcast. That's it. You don't have to have anything fancy. You, you know what I mean? Just say you have a podcast, right? Yeah. We can have ask ChatGPT, hey, come up with a name for my podcast so I can talk to all the other, you know, window manufacturers, 3M and whoever these guys are, right? Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. Talk to other people in the industry. I'm I'm sure you know who the other industry people are. Can you get them? Yeah, on your I actually used to work for 3M before I started my business. I was. You have all the connections then, pretty much. <laughs> and they'll say yes to you for 15 minutes because it's about making them look good. It's not a testimonial. Yeah, yeah. That's well, yeah. That's that's uh, that's perfect. I really appreciate uh, really appreciate the stuff. Um, in, in I'm gonna. I think you. I have your link to get to that dollar a day. Um, training. Um, yeah. So I'll take a look at that because I, I think that's part of what I really need to work on too. Um, and you know, dollar a day is a lot cheaper than two thousand dollars a month of ads. That I mean, then I think part of the drop off is what you saw, I, and I that just kind of rang a bell because um, right. we I told my guy to just continue for January. Or you can clearly stuff. see the stats. Yep. I mean, why would you keep throwing money away unless you just had no visibility, right? It was just a black yeah. hole. You're burning cash or whatever you're doing, right? Yeah, well, that, I mean, that money could be going towards, um, you know, pay-per-click or whatever. I mean, that probably more effective ways of, of yeah. using money. PPC, so. but your landing pages are terrible. So if you, even if you did it on PPC, you're not giving people the necessary experience to hire you because okay. it still looks like an e-commerce site. So I would hire someone on Upwork for, six hundred dollars to fix your site abiding by our web standards we have a whole standard on tuning wordpress sites do you have um, something that i can read on that by chance you could literally google it and we have lots of courses on that we have courses on how to audit websites which is okay. basically what i did for you but we've we've done thousands of them right gotcha so the the very thing that we run as an <laughs> audit like what we're doing here is the very thing that a Freelancer on Upwork, I don't care if they're in Pakistan. I don't care if they've done it for 20 years. I don't care how good they say they are. Their site has to pass our audit. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't pass, I don't care how smart you are or how much how other people say that you're amazing because you're 500 reviews at 4.9 stars. If you're if the site that someone builds doesn't pass our audit, it, it's just the facts are the facts. So the, yeah. the beauty is we publish these things just like we, you know, we looked at your stuff today. There's no arguing any of it. Yeah. You just have to be willing to Google it and use the tools that will tell us, like, is the site working? Is it loading fast? Is like that's why Roger Wakefield and I have this standard called "Are you Googleable?" It's a two hundred dollar yep. report, and we go through all this stuff. Sure. Okay. Well, that's yeah, a lot of good information. I really appreciate it. Um, and I'm gonna start working on this tomorrow. Yeah, you, you got an hour audit. <laughs> you got a <laughs> private one hour call with Dennis. That's awesome. I, I, I appreciate it. And um, if you have somewhere for me to leave a review or, you know. How I, about this? Go, go to Facebook or LinkedIn or whatever and just write up something or make a one minute video right now and say, hey, I just went through an, an are you Googleable audit with okay. Dennis. 
And here's some things that I learned. And these are actually super basic, obvious sorts of things, but I would have never known because I thought it was all this technical stuff. And I've been spending all this money on Facebook yeah. ads and hiring these other agencies until I realized yeah. that I needed to own my own marketing. Yeah. And that wasn't possible until I had access to these basic statistics. I'm like an obese person that's never stepped on a scale before. And I just needed to see. I just needed to see that my cholesterol was high. I needed yeah. to see like, and the stats are the stats and now we can fix it, right? Yeah. And so my eyes are opened as a small business and anyone else who's a local business that sells services, they should probably understand how to do this too. Because, oh, yeah. you know, it's not that we don't like agencies or we don't like, you know, Darren Shaw. I love him to death. I think he's amazing. Yeah. But either way, we need to own our own marketing. The way we do that is areyougooglable.com. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why isn't there a clear standard? All these agencies go out and sell whatever. You're out there buying links on Fiverr. You don't know. Yeah. And then no, we I'm run just... the areyougooglable.com, which is we're working on the software to basically do what we did in person. Mm. Is that worth $200? Uh, yeah. Versus how much money you've spent on whatever in the last few years? Yeah. I mean, and that's, that's, it's very frustrating. <laughs> yeah. And I, you know, I, I'm helping another guy. He's, he's doing what he's starting a business out in Philadelphia doing what we do. And he used to work for me. He lives out in Philly now. And, you know, this company was going to charge him $3,000 a month for SEO. Like, and your, your buddy in Philly, I'm sure he's a good installer. I'm sure he does good work. Yeah. But I bet you his marketing is, you guys are in the same bucket with marketing, aren't you? Uh, yeah, but I, you know, I told, he just started and his site is still being built as we speak. But the company that's building him, his site offered to do his SEO for three grand a month. And I told him, stop, don't, do not. Have him watch him. this video. Yep. And that, and then he. And by the way, he shouldn't be paying. Well, if he's hiring someone in the U.S., he might pay, you know, five thousand dollars for the site. But if he wants the same site built by somebody in another country, it'll be under a thousand. Yep, it's it's crazy. And I, you know, I'm I'm all for make people making money and whatnot, but man, that's just like uh, there's uh, there's stuff that shouldn't be done in the United States. Yeah, there, there's people that will work for three dollars an hour that will do the thing that will do stuff according to our standards. Yep. And I don't know of anyone in the United States that will do this for under $30 an hour. Yeah. It's, and it's not any better. The certain things we do in the United States, and like I'm an American. I was born in Dayton, Ohio. Like I totally understand. I want to hire Americans where possible, but some things should not be done by Americans. <laughs> Unless you just want to pay more for the sake of it. Right? And that's and that's the thing. Why do you think the iPhones are made in China? You know, come on, right? If the <laughs> iPhone was made in America, how much would it cost, right? It'd probably be two, three times, be three grand. I mean, that's... yeah. <laughs> It's just it is what it is, and that's I mean, that's why a lot of manufacturing left you know left the states is just because it's just yeah. got too expensive and yeah. So you know, get your website built on Upwork using our standards. It'll cost you five hundred to a thousand dollars depending on how exactly you want it done. SEO you take in house, and this guy he would have hired. I don't know who this guy is, but this guy would probably outsource it to someone else who outsources to someone else. So you have no idea who's actually doing the work at the end of the line. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what's frustrating about this whole industry. And the people uh, who are selling it to you, they don't even know how to do it. They're just salespeople. Yeah. And then you get you, re, you 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 meet a mechanic like me, Scott, someone who actually does the thing, and it's yeah. a completely different picture. I'm not a sales guy. I'm a mechanic. Yep. Yeah. And I can tell because uh, usually people are trying to, <laughs> hey, you know, sign up here or sign up there. Um, Did I ever ask you for any money? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but I mean, it, it is. I mean, you're you're building it organically. You're you know, and that's kind of what, you know, I look at as a business person. I'm not here to sell. I'm here to help. I'm right. here to provide exactly. a solution. I'm here. When you have a problem, I'm here to help solve it for you when it comes to my industry. And um, I'm, I'm not a very, I'm, you know, I'm a great salesperson, but I don't sell. <laughs> it's like, I listen. That's uh, the, the best sales. So are there any salespeople in the emergency room at the hospital? No. Why no. not? Because you're not being sold. <laughs> you're there right. for a service. And yeah. Yeah. They want someone with expertise who can diagnose and treat, not sell. Scott, is this, this is pain? Do you hurt? Yeah. Yeah. It hurts. It hurts. It help me. I'm having a heart attack. Can you fix it? Don't try to sell me. Yes. I'm in pain. Don't convince me I'm in pain. Yeah. Let's just have the surgery or whatever I need to take the pill. What do I have to do? Help me, doctor. Mm -hmm. I'm bleeding to death. Help me. Tell yeah. me what's wrong. Like fix whatever. Take the x ray, figure out what's wrong and fix it, you know? Sure. That's yeah. that's the way we look at it. You came to me and we we basically did a, a scan of all your, you know, taking your blood and the MRI and the x-rays and all that. I'm like, you can clearly see this is what's wrong. Yeah. And here's what you need to do to fix it. Here's your treatment plan. 
based on your data, not just, I'm going to make all these recommendations to you, Scott, that I just pulled out of my butt. It's is based there, on your data. Is there somewhere that you know of, like, <clears throat> um, and I, and I, there's a lot of forums and stuff out, things out there, you know, like one question I've always had, a, a small specific part of our business, I can sell nationally. And right. so I struggle, do I do another website? <laughs> no, don't, don't, here's the thing in business. Don't do 10 things half ass. Yeah. Whatever is driving, you said 95% of your business is B2B. It's commercial, yeah. Correct. Commercial window. Tint. So why don't you just double that? Get that to $10 million, then do another business. Mm -hmm. But don't start doing all this other stuff because then you're, you don't realize it, but now you're basically starting more businesses. Yeah. Like, why don't you grow this main one to 10 million and then look at another business? Sure. Otherwise, you'll be like, how likely are you, if you are start like five businesses, now you're doing this e-com, you're doing this stuff nationally, now you're doing cars, now you're doing, how likely is any of them going to be able to grow? And that's, I mean, we've gotten out of the, you know, because automotive is such a, it, it race to the bottom. It's, and that's, and then we've had, we've brought in auto tenters and they're drug addicts, you shoot, they're alcoholics, they're, um, and I just, we've struggled with it. And it's like opening a McDonald's, you don't want to do that. Yeah, and the, the ticket, the, the job, you know, our, our average job ticket is probably two, you know, we're, we're doing a $50,000 project next week. You know, a car is under $200. <laughs> how I mean, how many $200 car jobs do you have to do for one $50,000 job? Well, that's insane. Yeah, and so we, we decided years ago, like, you know what, we're just done. We've tried it. We're just done with auto. It it brings in a different clientele. I can do a $10,000 home um, and the homeowner will be like oh my god this is beautiful i love it thank you yeah yeah i can do a hundred two hundred dollar car and they'll bitch and moan about every right. little right, thing right. about the job so it's just like uh so yeah we we got away from that. and and the website needs to be clear we don't do cars yeah and, and that's and that's something we have to um because we do get calls still. and so then you in your in your write-up in, in for whoever to build the website you have to, you have to give clear directions right if you don't mention like oh the website needs to clearly show we don't do cars then they're going to build you a website according to your spec, but it's not going to work. So you don't, you don't think, you think redoing our whole site. Is... No, you don't need to redo this site. You you just need to change the content on the site, but you need to change the structure of the pages, which okay. is very easy to do in WordPress. Right. Okay. Yeah. I, I actually have um, the, the person who built my theme. Um, there was a builder they had on there called King composer that hasn't been updated and the developer is gone. So I just, have to, it's just switch to Elementor. I mean, we we have standard tools we use that everyone. Okay. It's like industry. Like why are you, unless you're like in the business of building websites for the sake of being new and different, just just use the tools that everyone else uses, right? Why not okay. just use the standard? Okay, got you. All right. Uh, yeah, we have a list of all the standards, so I would just use those. I wouldn't even deviate unless you are in the business of building websites. Okay, your parameters are on that. Uh, are you Googleable? Um, like your template that you you could just add, you you could literally the whole idea of are you Googleable is you could ask Google or you could ask ChatGPT. Okay. And you'll find you should find and if you can't find it then we didn't do, do a good job making it Googleable, right? Yeah. Any information that you want found should be Googleable. Yeah. It shouldn't require coming to me because then I'm Google for you, right? Yeah. yeah. And a lot of our VAs and whatever they come to me and they say, hey Dennis, what's the answer to this? Like. And then what I do is I Google it for them and I paste the first result back to them. And they say, oh, thank you so much. I said, you know, I just <laughs> took your question. I pasted it into Google. Come on, right? Yeah. Oh, but it's so much easier asking you. Yeah. You could ask, you could paste it into ChatGPT. It would give you probably a better answer than I would because it'll quote, on my, it, it's it, it's read all my articles and watched all my videos. And like it it knows this stuff, Scott, right? It, it, it'll your, like pull up stuff like, oh yeah, well, Dennis, you said this here and you said that, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot I said that, that you're right. I did say that. Yeah. Uh, what's your, how'd you get into this? And I mean, it was just something you started and just I built. built the analytics at Yahoo over 20 years ago. Oh, really? I'm a search okay. engine engineer. Gotcha. So you know what you're talking about. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hope so. I mean, things change. I got to keep up too. Yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, you know, even yesterday you're talking about the Gemini and some of the photos that are spitting out. And, yeah, the whole white male thing and all. I get it, but whatever. Yeah. Don't even worry about that right now. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, it's just it's just kind of like hey, it's just kind of weird to me that you know AI. I, I I'm I love it. And I think it's great. And it helped me. I mean, there were uh, you know, it's helped helped me a ton, especially with some legal you know business stuff and legal stuff. And it's sure. it's been great. But 
yeah, sometimes you kind of wonder, okay, well, um, when's it going to start to be opinionated or when's it going to start to try what do you to mean when <laughs> yeah it's, it's doing it now for sure but um it, it you know it's just one of those things i guess we have to we have to be excited about but also be you use um, multiple tools right they all have different biases why because tools are made by humans and humans have biases do you do you use grok at all have you yeah grok is great yeah use that too okay I might try to start using that a little bit more and try to mix it up. Um, yeah. And, and, um, and you know, do you see any issues with AI content in the future? Like, you know, I have so many webinars on this topic. I yeah, give okay. a keynote address in Dubai in a few days on this topic. All right, okay. I'll take a look. Google it. Like literally Google it to see, yeah. Google my name and you, and then, you will have any question you have, like all these questions AI have been asked. So you would not believe how many times they've been asked. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm sure they have. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that's awesome. Well, I yeah, I, I really appreciate it. I'm gonna get to work this weekend. Um, and so we uh, should yeah. we should publish this and on YouTube and give it to all the other installers to see. They're probably making the same mistakes. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. And then yeah. this this would generate a link for you. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna send uh, and, I, and give it to all these other buddies of yours so they can learn how to do this. And I'm sure they'll have questions. And then you guys can all collaborate together. Because you're not competing with people in other cities, like why wouldn't you collaborate? Yeah, and, and a lot, and it is a pretty tight. And uh, we're all three M, um, so there's a bunch of manufacturers out there, but three M obviously, yeah, um, is the best. Well, why the best. isn't three three M should be helping all you guys market if you're mainly buying from three M? They do, and um, they have um, they do a lot of marketing. They have dealer locators, and we're on the dealer locator. Um, they should publish uh, a marketing guide for installers. Yeah, they they're very. It's funny because they have some top marketing people. Obviously, being the corporation they are, uh, but they never really come out with marketing training. They come out with a lot of product training, and they don't understand local. They're a manufacturer. That's the big thing. That's you hit the nail on the head. Rope, that that they're not a local. They're more. Uh, they do you know you type in window film and they're probably coming up first um, because for a product for, from a product standpoint they dominate because think about it, three who doesn't know about three M. But when you when you're looking for local service businesses, are you thinking about 3M? Uh, no, no, <laughs> no. You're thinking well, about some guy who you want to talk to to take care of you the thing you have, right? Yeah, you know, some guy made a mention to me that our site looked more corporate than locally owned too. It did. Uh, There's yeah. nothing that shows. There should be a picture of you, in, or some some of your technicians installing the stuff at some some building, not this. You understand like they look corporate because it had these like different divisions and here's these products. And that does not look like someone who would come to my house if I lived in Milwaukee. Yeah. I want to know that there's this guy, Scott, or one of his people that would come to my site. Like if I look at the site, it needs to instantly broadcast. Oh, that's clearly Milwaukee. And that's some of his people, not stock art. You you know, how it, things that look like stock art versus real, right? Oh, 100%. And, and I have like, I have. Photos. Why don't you have the homepage be a big picture of you and a couple business customers or a school like smiling in front of the building or say clearly it's a real picture of you and this is what you do. Yeah. It's super then, obvious. This is what we do, right? And I have a lot of pictures that are identifiable. Like uh, um, we did a lot of work at the Milwaukee Art Museum and you look at those pictures, you're going to know yeah. that's uh, we did a, yeah. a job at the Capitol of Madison. Um, yeah, but know. none of that is there. No. Nope. No, and we're that's going to you have up. it, but you have Scott. You have constipation. <laughs> Just too much stuff. Yeah, it's not coming out. You the yeah. stuff that you, you have it. It's all clogged up. It's in some folder somewhere that nobody can see. Yeah. All right. We're we're we're, we're going to get on that. I, I got to find I got to find a good developer that'll help me organize it and make it look good. You, a VA will do that. You don't need a developer. You you don't need an engineer to organize your pictures or whatever. Maybe you have a young adult. Maybe there's some like teenager or college, whatever age person to do this for you. You pay them 20, 25 bucks an hour to do this for you. Yeah. Okay. Or you hire someone from the Philippines at $500 a month full time. Yep. Yeah. Is that what they, uh, that, that, that's the going rate? 500 to $1,000. 1000 for someone who's really good. Okay. Full time. Not through an agency. You pay them directly. But they okay. work for you 40 hours a week like a job job. And you find those on Upwork, uh, Upwork, Upwork online jobs We have a whole course on that. Okay. It's called our VA hiring guide. If you Google Blitz Metrics VA hiring guide, you'll see it. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. That's a whole world unto itself once you open that rabbit hole or whatever you call it, open that Pandora's box. 
Yeah, because I use uh, I use Upwork a little bit. We um, we do some uh, uh, Upwork is for projects. One off. Yeah. 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 Okay. Awesome. Well, man, this has been incredible. I really appreciate um, really appreciate your time. So, what did you think of what you learned? What what? How would you summarize what you've learned or what happened? Well, I just, I assumed our site was a lot better. Um, I, yeah, and and um, I, it makes a lot of sense that it just doesn't look personable. It looks more uh, template. Looks more like a template. Um, but and and it's certainly not doing the service pages are awful. I mean, we we got to really update those local pages and and make us look like a local company, not you know, um, not just you know putting. <laughs> I think you're right. You know, we look like an e-commerce. We look like a national company. And I think I may have purposely tried to do that, um, thinking we'd get more bigger installations in, say, New York City. Um, but to me, that's not important, right? You know, um, I think the, the our service, servicing our local area is probably the best route to go. So, What would you say to another local service provider that was looking at getting an Are You Googleable audit like you just had? what would I say to them about if they were thinking about it? Yeah. I would tell them it's hundred percent. Um, well, I think, I think 90% of business owners don't even look at their website. I think it's some, I think, I think it should be something that should be audited once a year, probably. Um, uh, so I guess my, my suggestion to business owners that, and I guess it would be, you know, am I talking to someone that that's actively involved in their website or is it? So, so for the other, the other Scots that are in your situation, mm -hmm. the phone's not ringing. They paid for Facebook ads or they hired these other SEO people or they hired someone on Upwork or they paid like whatever. They've been spending money on marketing. They're good at the thing that they do, mm -hmm. like installing, you know, whatever, but you know, plumbers, like they're good. They're good as, you know, contractors doing the thing that they are trained to do. But their marketing sucks, and they they don't understand why. And now that we've gone through this, what would you say to someone who's considering, do I want to do this thing that Dennis is offering and all these other young adults that are trained in being able to do these audits? Do I want to hire one of them to tell me what's wrong and give me the stats so I can own my own marketing? Well, I'd say 100% because if – and the SEM Rush is, is a perfect example. If, if you don't know what your performance is on your site – it can look, it can look like the best site in the world, but if it's not performing well and if it's not structurally sound, it's not going to, you know. And, um, and, and I'm seeing that with our site now, so I guess my suggestion would be, yeah, get the audit. <laughs> yeah, why should they get the audit? To to help uh, you know develop a roadmap to how to uh, you know start getting you know their website performing better. Um, you know, if you don't have a roadmap to success then you're just kind of spinning your wheels and that's kind of you know i think we've done well um in certain areas but um uh you know i think the, the, the big part was doing the local pages and now we're we're on track we those local pages are fairly new we didn't even have local pages at one point so um you know it's kind of a, a shame on me type of a thing um there was also a time where we were really super busy before covid we had more work than I could, you know, I, I had more work than we had installers to put it on. So um, I uh, I kind of slacked a little bit on our site. Um, once that work and those projects were completed, that's when I asked, oh shit, you know what? I kind of ignored our website a little bit. Um, a lot of it was just stock stuff. And that's when I decided during COVID that, hey, I got to start, you know, rebuilding this stuff. So, yeah. Because you your business are doing great, even though you didn't really have the marketing going. But what what have you learned in our session today, especially about location service pages? So other people that are considering doing this, they see it's worth their time to do it. Yeah, I, you know, I, I think um, you know building out those pages and and talking about the PAA and the um, and, and, and trying to get uh, you know just really fortifying those local pages and using AI to help you know, to help facilitate that because, I mean, literally you just did, you did in five minutes what it used to take a half a day to do, right? Before AI. Yeah. And we could build out all your location service pages in a day. All of yeah. them. Yeah. And doing it the right way, not just auto-generating with ChatGPT. You saw that our process was injecting your experience because you have a folder somewhere of pictures and 
videos and things like that you know the, the art museum and whatnot to show that you actually do the thing and then the ai is like an editor mm -hmm. that's the way to use it you have to come with the raw ingredients of your experience and then the ai is an editor that enhances it like a va think of the ai as like another va gotcha not that's just generate all these pages like this is what all these other they just like generate garbage right well and then they're all going to kind of be duplicate content and there's nothing to be original about them and um right and they're not going to go anywhere so right because it's all stock art. What did you think when we audited your backlinks? I think a lot of got a lot of garbage backlinks that I, you know, like that are useless. And <laughs> so, um, was and, it easy to see? Was it very clear when we looked at your data? What was going 100%, on? Yeah, hundred percent. Um, okay. You know, so I I thought our backlink profile was a little better than that, and you know, and again, I haven't really backlinks have been kind of my weak. You know, like I I don't. I was never really good at getting them. Um, they're harder to, you know, it's, it's one of the harder things to do in SEO, um, you know, belonging to some of the cha uh, chambers um, to me was, those were good links that I thought would be worth paying 300 bucks a year to get, you know, involved with the, with the chamber, local chambers of commerce. Plus it's the face-to-face -face stuff that you're, um, that, that, that you're meeting with other business owners. Uh, but yeah, I mean, our links are garbage. I mean, um, there, we have some good ones in there, but uh the links are garbage because you could clearly see that. But do you yep. see the path forward on what needs to happen to create links that Google believes are good because it's in your area of expertise, mm -hmm. right? In, in installing the window tinting for businesses and it's in your or or it's in your area. Do you understand why links need to come from your geo or from your vertical? So either in the Milwaukee area, other businesses. Mm -hmm. or other installers, no matter where they are. Like links have to come from one of the two. Do you do you understand why that is and how you can talk to other businesses in Milwaukee and you can talk to other installers that you network with and just guest blog post on either of those and why that has to come through your relationships, not through like me or somebody in India because they don't have relationships in Madison or with mm -hmm. other installers across the nation. But it do just you think that it, makes sense now? Yeah, it just makes it more relevant. I mean, if it... If, if, yeah. If it's another company referring us through their blog or their website or whatever, it makes it more relevant because it's geo, you know, it's geotagged now. If it's another window film business in another city, it's the subject's still the same, might be a different locale, but um uh but the the subject's still the same. You know, but but do you understand how links that you build have to come from one of those two categories? From you and either way, it's your network in your city, your network nationally among other people that do the same thing. Yep. And you really get them on Zoom and you interview them and whatnot. You share knowledge, just like you would at a conference, take pictures with them, that kind of stuff. And when you elevate them and you talk about doing it for an art museum where, you know, here's the kind, I don't know, I understand how to do it, but, you know, kind of behind the scenes or whatever, it shows Google that you are reputable as an installer because you're hanging out with these other installers. Mm -hmm. Or you worked at 3M before. And here's some things that from your experience at 3M, which shows that you are credible, which satisfies EEAT. Mm -hmm. And do you see how that's, I mean, that's SEO, but it's not, it's not a technical thing. It's about the relationships you already have that drive the links from other businesses in your city or nationally, anyone else who does the thing that you do, Her. but that has to come from you. You see that it, you can't pay someone to do that. You see why you can't pay someone to do that. Yeah. And so you think, so the best way to do these are through blog, guest blog, guest blog posts. Yeah. And you can say, Hey, you guys have WordPress. I would love to write a guest blog post about. Here's how, you know, I did this particular, this, this business, mm -hmm. you know, it was a $50,000 job. And then if you have one that you want to share and I'll interview you on, you know, what were some of the things that you did and how long did it take and how did you price it? And I don't know, whatever the kinds of questions you want to, then you can guess blog post on me or I'll interview you about that on zoom for sure. 10 minutes. And then our VA will turn that into an article. And all you got to do is just be on zoom mm -hmm. just for 10 minutes, just yeah. like this zoom. We're having a zoom right now. I'm not going to do any video editing. Are people going to watch the zoom? Use AI tools and turn it into an article that then links to you. Sure. All you have to do is talk to people in your city or in your area of expertise. That's it. That's it. Yeah. The rest of it can be processed by the VAs using the AI tools. Gotcha. And we all use WordPress, so that's easy, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Cool. I'm going to see Roger Wakefield in one minute. So he's awesome. He's our figurehead in, in plumbers. Oh, okay. All these jobs in the trades, all these people that are certified in the whole, are you Googleable? So like what I did for you, thousands of other people are going through the same training. Awesome. 
Yeah, that's yeah. This has been a great. Uh, it's, it's been a great help. And I, again, I really appreciate uh, you taking the time because I know yeah. you're. I know you're busy. So. Well, I want to see you win, and I want to. Do you agree that it makes sense for you to share along the way to help everyone else? Hundred yeah. percent. Yep. Yeah. We're all and helping each other, and we're going to flush the garbage out of all the vendors that are selling whatever they're selling. And and I, I agree. That's that's always been a, a real pain. <laughs> Tell your guy not to spend three thousand dollars a month for SEO, whatever the heck that is. Yeah, it's yeah. Then I, I luckily I cut him off, but I'm going to share this with him, and um, yeah. and and we'll definitely uh help get him in the right direction because I mean um yeah I I and he had to sign a six month contract eighteen thousand dollars no like, no, no 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 and, and depending <laughs> on what he's paying for the website try to get out of that too yeah yeah I I, I agree and I think he's even I think they talked about putting it on Wix which no uh, no no yeah. no 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 <laughs> yeah anyway let, <laughs> stop just tell him to stop <laughs> I'm going to get on the phone with him right now. <laughs> All right, cool. I got to run. Appreciate you, Scott. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. I'll give it. you the recording a little bit. All right. All right. Awesome. Thanks. See you.